2019 really seems to be the year of the locust. I've seen so many articles about locusts invading different areas, mainly in the Middle Eastern areas, but I saw another article today on it, so I decided to pull up a bunch of different instances that this has happened since 2019 began. And locusts are used throughout the Bible for different plagues and different references to the land being devoured, but of course we know of the locust plague being one of the ten plagues that was delivered upon Egypt when Pharaoh refused to free the Israelites. And then as well in the book of Revelation in chapter 9 we have the locusts that come out of the bottomless pit. So maybe it's a reference to something going on in the world right now. Not sure, but it's just very interesting. All these different articles in these different times that the locusts have invaded nations since 2019 began. So we'll start off with the instance when the locusts invaded Mecca, which is very interesting, and this happened on January 17th of 2019. Plagues of tens of thousands of locusts descend upon Mecca, one of Islam's most holiest sites, the sacred city they make their pilgrimage to Mecca. This article on CBN News says, according to various news reports, an estimated 30,000 black grasshoppers, or so-called night cockroaches, invaded the religious site recently, overwhelming cleanup crews and Muslim pilgrims alike. So very interesting. Here's some of the video of the locusts at Mecca. <laughs> Very interesting. I don't find that to be a coincidence whatsoever. Now the next on February 18th, 2019, biblical locust invasion sparked a UN warning for UAE, the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, and Egypt. This article and the rest of the articles will be from the website strangesounds.org, a very good website. Very interesting posts there. It says massive swarms of locusts are bearing down on Saudi Arabia and Egypt as they spread rapidly among the shores of the Red Sea. The United Nations has warned. Breeding along the coast of Eritrea and Sudan, the swarms are spreading farther afield, with at least one having crossed over the Red Sea and Saudi to Saudi Arabia in mid-January and more a week later. Swarms also went north along the Red Sea towards Egypt. So that whole area, the whole area of the biblical times, especially in Egypt, which already saw the one of the ten plagues of, of locusts, has been invaded multiple times. Pretty interesting, pretty interesting. Not sure what to make of it, but it is very interesting for sure. Here's some video of that. The next article from April 23rd, 2019, Iran is facing the worst locust attack in the past 40 years. Biblical invasion threatens, threatens crops and food security. The article says a locust outbreak in the Arabian Peninsula has been spreading to Iran, threatening crops and food security in large areas of the coastal province of Hormozgan, an official said. Director of a Department of Horsgan's Agriculture Organization told Tasneem that Iran is facing the worst locust attack in the past 40 years. Here is some video of that locust swarm. Next article is from May 4th, 2019. Just like something out of the Bible, nightmare swarm of millions of locusts darken the sky over Najran, Saudi Arabia, just weeks after devastating Iran. A few weeks after Iran, swarms of locusts are currently invading southern Saudi Arabia near Najran, darkening the skies and adding a thick layer of insects to trees, just like something out of the Bible. So it seems like some of these huge swarms are just invading a lot of these different nations there just wreaking havoc upon all of those surrounding areas. Here is some video of that infestation. Mm -hmm. 
Now here on May 14, 2019, locust apocalypse in Saudi Arabia, millions of flying insects swarm cities and attack crops, frightening local residents. So that whole area is just getting hit over and over really by these locust swarms, devastating the land. I mean, some of these pictures are unreal. Look at that. I mean, hard to imagine if you live in a nation like America where we don't see stuff like this. That's just unreal. Here's some unbelievable video of that. And now here on June 13th, it's biblical. Worst locust plague in 60 years invades Sardinia, Italy. More than 2,500 hectares of crops destroyed. And a hectare is 100 acres, so 250,000 acres of crops destroyed there. Millions of locusts have invaded the Italian island of Sardinia, seriously affecting farmers, livestock, and crop production in the worst insect invasion in more than 60 years. The biblical plague has been described as the worst of its kind in six decades. Vegetation has been severely hit and the industry fears it may be too late to save this year's crops. So unreal. I mean, these pictures are just unreal to see how many of these locusts are just invading the lands there and these people's crops and properties. Pretty unbelievable. Here's some video of that. Pretty remarkable stuff. After keeping my eye on weather events and weird animal die-offs and insect infestations and things of that nature, after keeping my eye on this stuff heavily for the past few years, I've just consistently noticed this year has been locust, locust. And so I just wanted to put this together. No idea if this means anything on a prophetic scale. We do know though that the Bible, within the Bible, locusts are sent upon lands as a judgment many of times. I mean, the entire earth at this point <laughs> needs to have some sort of judgment because of some of the insanity that's going on. But all we can do is continue to fight the fight of truth, stand up for what is real, and help people in their journey to finding that and accepting Jesus Christ because that's all that matters in this world. Interesting at the very least, biblical maybe, and we'll just keep our eye on it like we do on everything. But as we know, like, in, like I mentioned, in Egypt... It was one of the ten plagues back when Pharaoh wouldn't release the Israelites. And in the book of Revelation, we have the swarms of locusts coming out of the bottomless pit. We'll just keep our eye on it. Thanks for watching. God bless.